don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today Hey everyone, Connie here and welcome to my blind reaction to The Lighthouse. Uh, so this is a donation reward for Matthew Vasquez. Thank you for the donation, Matt. Um, and this is a um, this is a movie reaction uh, to a movie I have never heard of. Apparently, from what I've heard, it stars um, Robert Panson. Um, but that's all I know about. I, I like don't know anything about his character. I, I don't know anything about the plot of the movie. I know literally nothing going into this. Um, because I, I like I said, I've never heard of this. I've never seen a trailer for. I've just never heard of it. I've never heard anyone talk about it even. So I have no idea what to expect going into this, like at all, literally. <laughs> um, which is kind of wild because you don't. Yeah, I don't get that too often. Where I know literally nothing about a film. Usually, there's at least something I know. Um, but again, the only thing with this that I have any clue about is, again, Robert Panson. But that tells me literally nothing. So, I, I don't even know, like, what kind of genre this film is. I don't know if it's a drama, if it's a horror, I don't know if it's a, a slice of life, romance, whatever, I, I don't know. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. Um... I don't really have anything else to say. I'm kind of, I, I, I want to kind of draw out this, uh, um, these pre-thoughts because it's like I've only been talking for less than two minutes so far, but I have nothing to say because I don't know what to say. I have no idea what... I, I know literally nothing. Even when I uh, went to download this movie, I... I didn't see anything about it. Again, other than Robert Panston. Like, I didn't even see that when I was looking it up. I, I just know that ahead of time. Um, I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah. Thank you for the donation reward, Matthew. And, um, if you have anything else you wish to have me react to in the future, or if anyone has anything they would love to see me react to, easiest way is to donate. Um, otherwise, I it's just who knows when I'm going to get to it, basically, um, with how my schedule for reactions tends to be. Um, but yeah, if, if you ever really want to see me react to something, the easiest way is to donate. You can donate on PayPal, which is down in the description below. Um, and I just put up a video, like, listing a bunch of different ideas for things you could request, but you, you obviously don't have to stick to those ideas. Um, you can request anything you want, a movie, a show, a YouTube video, anything like that. Hell, technically, you could even have me react to a comic if you really want me to, um, though that would be a little harder to do, but... It has happened before. <laughs> it actually has. That would just be a lot harder to do. For a lot of reasons. Um, it's, it's a lot easier for visual media. Like movies and shows and stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, if you ever. If you wish to donate. Um, feel free. Um, just let me know. And we can work out what your reward will be. And it will be added to the list. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just get this started and hope for the best with this movie, whatever it ends up being. Uh, so, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because once it, once it does fade to black and then fade back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. So, we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So, in between recording the re reaction and the redirect, or these afterthoughts, 
I, I, I looked up the movie to try and get some kind of insight into it. Apparently, it, um, kind of like I figured, it did premiere at a film festival, the, Con, the 72nd Con Film Festival. Um, and was apparently praised for like cinematography and stuff, which I can, I can see. There's definitely stuff uh, related to that here. Um, critically, it did extremely well. Um, like, very well. <laughs> And was nominated for a shit ton of awards and even won quite a few of them. It has themes of psychology, mythology, alcoholism, homoeroticism, and stuff like that. Um, but to me, as an average everyday person viewing this film, I was confused. I was bored. And I didn't like it. Like the cinematography was it was good. The acting was good. I could definitely see there was some symbolism in there, but a lot of it honestly went over my head. Um, I, I I would never claim to be the smartest person or the most observant person. I, I would never claim to be someone who would be able to understand or catch a lot of symbolism or stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, this just seemed like a movie that was artsy for the sake of being artsy. That the people who made this movie made it as a reason to show off artsy styles cinematography, a ratio aspect that you don't see in modern films much at all, and just creative ideals that, in my eyes, again, as a casual viewer, do not work. I feel like the only ones who really would appreciate this are those critics, the hardcore critics and film buffs and cinephiles who are into these kind of films. Not just the film buffs and cinephiles and all of them in general, but the specifically the ones who are into these kind of films. As a casual viewer, especially someone who's just like a just an ordinary person who just watches movies and shows and stuff for fun, there was nothing appealing about this. Uh, there were some fun moments, but there, there were some like little moments that were like okay, like I, I, I kind of enjoyed the stuff with the seagull and uh, Ephraim slash Tom uh, having their little spat together. That was kind of funny. Willem Dafoe was Willem Dafoe as a salty old sea captain, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but other than that, there's like the story was boring and uninteresting. The payoff at the end was absolute bullshit. Like, I, I, I get, I, I get that this is supposed to be like a Prometheus Proteus kind of thing, but that payoff was bullshit because that was everything was kind of hinging on that for me at that point. What was in the lantern up at the top of the lan uh, lighthouse? That was the big mystery throughout this entire thing that Ephraim slash Tom wanted to find from Thomas. He, he wanted to be up there because he was being specifically forbade from going up there. And everything about it seemed off because like everything about it was weird. Um, so he goes up there, the thing opens on its own and he starts screaming before falling back down the lighthouse. And then it just like cuts and the, ne and, and the last thing we see in the film is just him somehow outside being eaten alive by gulls. Um, apparently this is also like based off of uh, Edgar Allan Poe uh, work. One that I'm just not familiar with. Um, but it also apparently took a lot of its own like 
paths with it, and it was like kind of like a modern retelling, I guess you could say. Um, but it just came across as, again, artsy for the sake of artsy. Like, like it wasn't focused on telling a good story. It wasn't focused on making good characters. It was entirely focused on the artsiness of it. And everything else suffered because of it. Again, that when he looks into the light and the screens have all down, it's like there's no resolution to that, to the entire mystery of this movie. We get no resolution to the big mystery. And there's just nothing at the end. Like you could kind of, you could try and say like, oh, it's a study on like descent into madness and shit. And even, even so, I've seen better takes on that kind of thing. Outside of the acting and just the cinematography in general, it, it wasn't good. Again, it was boring. It was confusing. It was... It was hard to tell, like, if anything was actually happening or not. Like, like, as I looked it up, apparently him finding the guy's head in the lobster trap was a was a hallucination. But there's absolutely nothing in this to tell us, like, what's real and what's not. The only thing we know for absolute certain that was fake was the mermaid that uh, Ephraim Tom was uh, having sex with because it, it was legitimately cutting at that point to show him masturbating to the statuette. Um, that's the only thing we know for sure wasn't real. Everything else, it, it, it just, it, it has nothing to tell you, like, to give any kind of context to it. it there's not even enough to even form your own thought. It's not like, oh, I think uh, Ephraim Tom was uh, his viewpoint was real or I think uh, Thomas's viewpoint was real no there's there's nothing to even make any kind of educated guess or to take either side on that there's not enough context not enough information not enough evidence of either side being accurate or false in either way And Thomas, although it was hilarious and great seeing Willem Dafoe play a salty old sea captain, it's basically, as he from Tom said in, in the film itself, he was basically a parody. He was a joke, a, a, a stereotype. He was so, like, stupidly stereotypical that it was actually really jarring the, like yeah again it was great seeing Willem Dafoe play that kind of character and Willem Dafoe was great in the role because Willem Dafoe but the actual character itself was so stupidly stereotypical that it was just it wasn't entertaining it wasn't fun to watch and Ephraim Tom it's like what am I supposed to get from his character? I have no grasp on his personality. The only thing I can really say about him is that he's a hard worker. I just... I don't get it. I was bored by it. And in the end, it just, 
it, it not only didn't impress me, it actively made me dislike it. The ending was just, it just ruined what was already an unenjoyable film for me. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to like nag on you for choosing for me to react to this, Matthew, uh, because obviously you didn't know like, what I was going to think of it. I mean, I don't know what I'll ever think of any movie or show or whatnot. So yeah, it's like, it's, I'm not, it's not your fault. <laughs> Um, so, like, keep suggesting as many movies as you can, uh, whenever you're able and willing to donate, like, feel free to keep doing so and keep suggesting whatever movies you would love to see me react to either way. I, it's just this one I just didn't end up liking. This one was just... Not really what I'd call a waste of time to see. Because again, I, I, I don't consider it that way. Um, especially as a donation reward. I appreciate you donating and choosing to have me react to this. It's just I just I just didn't like it. That's all that's all it is. And maybe it is be, just because I didn't get it because I didn't understand. But for me, it was just, it was not that good. And it was, it was too overly artsy while sacrificing any competency in anything else for me. And for me, story and characters are much more important than being artsy. But like I said, keep suggesting stuff, and that goes for everyone, too. Uh, if you are ever able and willing to donate, feel free. Um, I take all donations. Any are, doesn't matter how big or small, doesn't matter to me. Um, everything helps. And uh, if you donate, no matter how much you donate, you always get a reaction. You always get a reward. Uh, and your reward can be, have me react to a movie, a series, a YouTube video, or series on YouTube, whatever you want like that. Um, the PayPal is in the link below. You can donate just straight on there. Uh, just let me know and let me know what you want to uh, have me react to and we can discuss that and everything. Once again, I just recently put up a video of a list of ideas if you want to check that out, but you don't have to stick to that. Those are just ideas. Those are just things I have not seen um, that would be an idea of like where to go with, I guess. <laughs> Um, but yeah, feel free to keep going with that. Uh, we'll do more of these donation rewards in the future, both for movies and shows and all. And for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.